I take two pencils and make some lines. So, that one, these are pencil, these pencils are water resist. I make some marks, make another color. Um, we take yellow. This is not so important. It's only to show you something. So, okay. Now, when you use a shaper, then you can make, then the lines will shine through if you want this. I will show you. I take a little bit of orangey, make this. And as you can see, the line shows through. I can take another color, so. Also with the black one, you think, maybe you think, yes, black. This goes also with black color. I have to clean this and I show you here. When you use this, the line shows through. When you don't want that the line shows through, then you can make this. I love this. Um, shaper because I have the possibility to make it opaque, opaque, <laughs> excuse me, so, or to make it translucent. So, okay, and you can do this with, with all of shapers you have, also with this one. That's because I love shapers so much. Now, with the spatula, I love, you can do this also. And also this. You can apply the color very thick make structure but I think you know this this is not so new so I can blend the color together I love also spatulas here the color and then when it's thick you can add some marks here when it's thick, it goes very good. So, these are about spatulas. The fan brush is really great to apply the color really intuitively. And it gives marks like this. Every brush has another mark. Excuse me. So, you see, with this I can make lines that look so, or I can apply it in this way. It's really fun with this brush. Okay. Now, my face, my china uh, brush. With this I can really make, I am so free with this brush, I don't know why, but I feel so free with this brush to, to apply the color. And I can use it also with the with the small side, with the thin side, and make marks. Now I take a little bit of black, 
you see I can make really great marks. The lines are very interesting. So. And it lies so good in my hand. So <clears throat> then I want to show you with the thin brushes. So I have my ink. Sometimes I make the brush wet, sometimes not. And now I can play. Yes, I have to make it wet. So. Okay, with the long one, <coughs> I don't have any control. So. It's really rich color. I take it here and so now you see my li lines are not so are very different then I can use the bright side. It's very not under my control and I want to make some uh, lines intuitively then I uh, take my left hand and make also lines. This is, is really great. So I love to make lines with this brush. And this is also a little thicker than the brush I have used before. So Maybe we can make it with the with the white color to see the difference. So. <clears throat> I take a little bit of thicker brush, make it wet, and now so White lines are also really pleasant. I love them also. So good. But is also a great brush to make lines is this one. It's a little one, but it's not long. They are not long hairs. So or sh there are short hairs and now I take normal color and make lines like this. And this is also a playful this is is real playful to do this. Maybe when you not in the mood to, to make a painting, then you can make exercises like this to learn which mark you can do with which brush or with, with the spatula or with the shapers. This is really fun to do without thinking, trying out new things. I will show you another brush, this, that gives different marks. You can make with this something like that. Or this one. What I really like to do is mixing on the paper.
but you see, <laughs> I love my spatula. <laughs> so when you make this, you see mixing or blending the color blends. So and here you make this, and so you have beautiful mixing colors here. You don't have to mix all the colors you use on the, on your palette. You can also blend them or mix them on the canvas or this is a paper and this gives really nice blendings and then when you blend or mix your colors on the canvas you have harmony the colors play together then when you want to make drops, it's better you use um, a liquid color, not the, where I have it, not the thick color. The thick, thick color don't uh, love to run. But with this one I can show you. So, I, this is golden carbon black but I can do it so good, but I will try. So, here, really much color. Now it drips. This is also playful. If you love this, it's not mine, but sometimes I do it also. This is really cool. But when you make this use, I recommend you to use ink or liquid colors. So, and now I think I explain all. What I want to say also is I always have baby wipe with me. I find baby wipe so great to clean the hands or when you think, oh, that's not good when the color is not drying. Then you can smear it. Here, I think, also here. This is also a good tool to use for blending colors. So, okay. Yes, I think that's all at the moment. I have shared my favorite tools and brushes with you and so I think we can start to paint a painting together.